This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. On this channel, I make a concerted effort to talk about threats that face us as a nation. White supremacy being maybe chief among them. And there's a number of different reason, reasons, a constellation of reasons, in fact, that it is dangerous, not just for the obviously uh, immediately understood as, as danger, that they're, they're violent white supremacists, but also because it is a pernicious movement that, that uh, the leaders of which try to indoctrinate others with dog whistles and language that is adjacent to vile racism, but is just as dangerous. Over the weekend, you may have seen um, a video circulate on Twitter of a white, uh, a white supremacist group called the, uh, the Patriot Front marching around in Washington, D.C., chanting in the new hoods, the modern-day hoods of the KKK, khakis and white face masks completely blocking who they are because as proud white men that they are, proud of their ideology, they're cowards who are unable, certainly unwilling, to show who they are. There's a few of the leaders who are have been outed by the press and are maybe are, are proud for the, for the recognition, but for the most part, they are cowardice, cowardly, little spineless worms. Here's video you may have seen, and then we'll start talking about this group, Patriot Front, who they are, and the danger they pose. Menacing, to, to be sure, that is the intent of what they're doing. It is an intimidation tactic, no matter what they say. They've got shields, they've got soccer nin, uh, shin guards on. They're, they're cosplaying as though they're military. They've even got the rat-a-tat of the, of the snare drum as though they're, they're recreating some American Revolution march. Gross. Stupid weak, but they pose a real threat because as their numbers grow, there were hundreds there transported by U-Haul truck in the back of U-Hauls. And then at the end of the night, I'm going to read from this Daily Beast article, at the end of the night, um, their U-Hauls were like several dozen of them were stranded. They weren't going to be picked up. And then finally they came for them or whatever. But uh, I want to talk about this because this move is this movement is on the rise. It's not on the wane. It is a growing movement that has been given strength by Donald Trump and his orbit of virulent white supremacists. He included. I'll read a little bit from this. I've got several clips to play here to talk about exactly who these people are. The Daily Beast article, White Supremacists Stage Bizarro Rally in Downtown DC find themselves stranded. A group of white supremacists stormed through wa downtown Washington, D.C. on Saturday evening, bearing American flags and mildly menacing plastic shields while marching to the beat of a snare drum down the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. But after chanting aggressively about their plans to quote-unquote reclaim America, their intended show of for force stalled spectacularly when they lost their ride, when many of them lost their ride. They're actually... Several of them, the, the U-Haul trucks showed up, you know, the box vans, they piled into the back, the door was shut, and they sped away. 
The rally by more than 100 members of the Patriot Front Group, held just blocks from the White House, sparked fear among many bystanders and immediately attracted the attention of law enforcement who shadowed the group to forestall any conflict. Members wore a uniform, white gaiters, which is the, the neck cover, the, the face cover that goes around the neck, sunglasses, blue jackets, khaki pants, and brown boots and hats. Some donned plastic shin guards seeming to anticipate violence. As Patriot Front's leader, Thomas Rousseau, spoke besides the Capitol reflecting pool, bystanders booed, asked about the reason for the march. Rousseau said, our demonstrations are an ex exhibition of our unified capability to organize, to show our strength, not as brawlers or public nuisances, but as men capable of illustrating a message and seeking an America that more closely resembles the interests of its true people. Those words right there are the problematic words that serve to recruit others who have sympathies for virulent white supremacists and their ideology. What is the interest of its true people? According to this little squirt, Thomas Rousseau, I'm certain I would be, uh, I would, I would uh, look like a true American. Although double his height, almost, I am a, a white man of European lineage. It is disgusting that they are taking up space in our nation's capital, chanting their chants and spreading their filth and their hatred. Continuing on in this article here, I, just a few more paragraphs. I didn't, I'm not reading the whole thing. About their group, Patriot Front was one no, once known as Vanguard America, but changed its name after a man affiliated with the group murdered a woman at the notorious Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville. Members with military experience often train each other in basic tactics ranging from protest gear list, Marine Corps issued combat boots and decontaminant wipes to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat while nationalists like Richard Spencer have hired their group for their own security. So that's where we stand with this group. Here's another video of them on the buses, on the U-Haul, not buses, on the U-Hauls, on the way to the protest. Watch this from one of the leaders. This is Luca Corgiot with Media to Rise, kicking off the live updates for today. We are currently in the back of a box truck. There is a caravan of box trucks heading to Washington, D.C., where Patriot Front is going to be marching, demonstrating, and giving uh, some speeches from Thomas Rousseau. Reclaim America! Reclaim America! Yeah. Goofs, to be sure, but even goofs can pose a threat. Uh, this next clip, is uh, there's just a couple of them. I just want to give you the flavor for what was going on this weekend. Uh, here is another marching toward the Capitol from the Lincoln Memorial down the uh, the National Mall. There's a reason that they're, they're, they're marching, walking in military formation with the drums and with the, the singular uniform that they, it's not a ragtag group of wearing whatever you want to. It is, they are uniformed. It sends a clear message that they are all on the same page. They share the same ideology. As he said, that they can mobilize and show their strength is what he said. Here he is explaining, this is Thomas Rousseau, who may not look like an impressive character, that is because he is not. He is, he is, he is, a, a, but, but a man in a boy's body. But watch this. You can see they've brought the helicopter out. There's tons of police. Thomas, why are we marching in DC? Our demonstrations are an exhibition of our unified capability to organize, to show our strength, not as brawlers or public nuisances, but as men capable of illustrating a message and seeking an America that more closely resembles the interests of its true people. Of its true people. Now, 
Listen, uh, the Southern Poverty, Poverty Law Center, which tracks white supremacists and extremists, uh, has a lot to say about Thomas Ryan Rousseau, who grew up in the suburbs of Dallas, Texas. Um, he was a part of Vanguard America, which disbanded weeks after the Charlottesville uh, debacle where they murdered Heather Heyer. There was conflict between the, the, the group leaders and they split off. And this is a, a, just a division of Vanguard America. It's a, it's a reborn entity with the same racist, white supremacist ideologies, Patriot Front. Uh, from reading from the, the Southern Poverty Law Center website on him, Rousseau led members of Vanguard America at the deadly Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. He is in the foreground of several photos depicting James Alex Fields Jr., the young man facing first-degree murder charges for allegedly ramming his vehicle into a crowd of protesters and killing 32-year-old Heather Heyer. Fields marched with members of Vanguard America and carried a shield bearing the organization's emblem. And then they talk about the dissolution or the separation of the two groups. In an August 30th, 2017 post to Southern Front, formerly Vanguard America's Southern Region, chat server, Rousseau announced his new organization, Patriot Front. And it is important to listen or hear the, the, the reasoning, because it is peppered with dangerous, extremist, racist, white supremacist, white nationalist rhetoric. The rhetoric of someone who wants to create a white ethno state in the United States. Remember, Hearing all of this, remember that both the Department of Homeland Security and the FBI, the FBI director has said, explicitly said, that the most dangerous threat of violent terrorism in the United States comes from within. It comes from white domestic white supremacist groups. I would contend that he is one of them. This is the statement. Due to the unwillingness to meet any semblance of compromise to resolve ongoing disputes with disagreeing parties, we are rebranding and reorganizing as a new entity. Vanguard America, as you know it, will now be Patriots Front. Our website is under construction and will be back online via the same domain. Our focus will remain much the same, as will our overall goals. This restructuring will happen alongside the creation of an extended manifesto and a top-down reform of the entity's ranking system. This change comes alongside many new visuals and a new overall look. The new name was carefully chosen as it serves several purposes. Listen to this part. Very important. The new name was cho chosen very carefully as it serves several purposes. It can help inspire sympathy among those more inclined to fence sitting and can be easily justified to our ideology and worldview. The original American patriots were nothing short of revolutionaries. The word patriot itself comes from the same root as paternal and patriarch. It means loyalty to something intrinsically based in blood, meaning race. They want to take back America for white men, the patriarch. I don't know how he's going to do it when the vast majority of America is opposed. The only reasonable explanation for a, a way that he would accomplish this is through violence. It's not going to be happened by winning hearts and minds. It's going to be through force, or at least I believe he hopes. Here is another element of why this is a problem. Because when faced with the questions about what took place in D.C., when faced with the questions about who are these people and what is their intent, conservative media, in this case Newsmax, well, I, I don't know. I, I had to Google them because I don't know anything about them. They're ignoring, at the very least ignoring it, and, and at the very worst, giving them cover by downplaying the danger that they pose. Watch these dum-dums on Newsmax. All right, Bobby, great to have you both with us. Have, have, yep. have any of you ever heard of this group, the Patriot Front, before, Ari? 
Anything about no, this group? No, I have no idea who these guys are. In fact, I had to Google them when you said you were going to be talking about this on the show. <laughs> and when I looked them up, the only evidence I could find of their existence was according to the Southern Poverty Law Center. Now, something I find very sketchy ah, about yes. this, which seems to be downplayed in the media, is that these guys showed up via U-Haul and left via U-Haul. So if you want to know who these guys really are, look up the license plates and look up the rental agreement. It's as easy as that. But don't these guys normally show up on buses or cars to throw a bunch of guys in the back mm -hmm. of a U-Haul? This sounds mm -hmm. staged yeah. to me. This has all the earmarks yeah. of a Lincoln Project attempt. Exactly. I mean, we've seen this before, <laughs> right. Bobby. That's the whole thing. You know, we've, mm -hmm. we've got the Lincoln Project, uh, you know, what, what do you call that? Performance art, whatever that was. Right. I mean, you've got the accusations made by the defendants in the Michigan uh, kidnapping case of Gretchen Whitmer that they feel like they were set up. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I tweeted earlier, Absolutely. we've got video evidence of a guy planting bombs at the uh, Republican National Committee, the Democratic National Committee. The FBI hasn't been able to track that person down, despite the fact they have him on camera doing it. And, you know, I'm not saying that the feds were behind this march this weekend, but a lot of people are, are, are raising that issue because we've had these issues with the feds recently. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And as Ari says, the whole thing looks sketchy. I mean, the only thing we're missing are the tiki torches. I mean, it, the whole thing seems yep. just bogus. It seems suspicious. The whole thing about masking their faces, that bugs me. You know, whether it's this group or Antifa, it's like you believe so strongly in what you stand for that you're going to hide and shame. You know, people right. who believe in what they're doing, they come on shows like this, they talk about it. They talk about their views. But yeah, the FBI in general really has a black mark against them. So you can't help when people out there are suspicious. When we saw what, you know, Peter Strzok did in the whole FBI organization against former President Trump, and then on and on and on, these entrapment cases can be very serious and very real. They've We've seen cases go toward the defendants and against the FBI. So it's there's no question out there that people are skeptical. We know their leaders. We know them to be avowed white supremacists. It's not a mystery. It's not a setup. The fact that they covered their faces is not reason for concern as to who they are. All that goes a long way to the racist money that funds Newsmax to promote that ideology. They are belittling the danger that they pose. Making light of, guffawing. <laughs> We're laughing about it. What a silly thing. Not a silly thing, dipshits. A very real threat to the Republic. A continuation of what we witnessed on January 6th. Wake up, America. For those of you out there who get tired, I get emails all the time about you you're talking about this race issue too much it's dividing americas i'm not dividing americans thomas rousseau and these other idiots are attempting to divide america they want an ethno state a literal division of us the fbi says it's a problem though the department of homeland security says it's a problem it's not just dumb dumb youtuber yelling about it in his studio they're public. They are coming out of the woodwork, showing their, not literal faces, but they're showing up on the scene, marching from one end of the National Mall to the other with bullhorns, marching in unison with their drums. Danger, danger, danger. What do you think, though? I would absolutely love to know. This is a conversation worth having it's not just a conversation worth having. This is a conversation we must have. It is imperative that we get our arms around this and understand what is taking place because if the Department of Justice isn't going to do anything or do something sufficient, it's on us to put the pressure on the powers that be. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I'd love to hear from you, not just the dissenters. I mean, I want to hear from you, but maybe we should do some kind of a live stream or something where we can, we can talk about this as a group. Follow me on social media. I'd love to connect with you there. I'm at Dollamore. 
just about everywhere. I'm sure there's going to be a whole bunch of right-wing white nationalist trolls that find this video, and that is okay. I welcome your stupid input as well. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Dollamore once again. And if you appreciate what I do, if you get value from what I do, if you think what I'm doing is important, please consider supporting my work here on the platform. For two bucks a month, you can click the join button, see what's involved and become a channel member, or you can head on over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Both those are fantastic ways to help support and produce what I do. If you see fit, if you think it's important enough. Anyway, I love you guys. I will see you next time. Until then, be genuine. Take care of one another.